Episode two of the Kangaroo Pouch Diaries with Uncle <laughs> Cheech and Dr. Timothy Von Mickelstein. <laughs> this kangaroo man, right? <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna see if we can get some fish on caddis and hoppers today. Curtis and Lance are out gallivanting somewhere, we don't know. But what do you think, Tim? Hopefully we outfish him, right? Yeah, I don't know if we'll outfish him, but we will catch bigger fish than they will. Okay, okay. Bigger fish. We'll bigger fish. Bigger. So we're going to try... just cursed us now. Yeah, well, I probably did. <laughs> anyway, Project Hopper, we're going to see if the fish will eat that, and then a really cool hopper dropper, or I mean dry dropper technique. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna grab my rod and I'm gonna watch Tim drag the boat up there so I can jump in and start fishing because I don't I don't like to row the hard parts. So anyway, wish us luck. Crap, their PMD's rising. They're coming out. That means I should throw hoppers still. Got it. Yeah. So Oh, he threw the hook. That counts still. <laughs> Brown trout on the thread. Frenchy. I was trying to get him on the reel. That was not a good decision. I blame Tim. All right. I'm going to roll the camera. Yeah, Tim's kind of new to this. Um, spent a lot of time in medical school not fishing right yeah. dr timothy von mickelstein so i got a project hopper with a dropper of a thread frenchy that has an oversized bead i don't know if i should have tied on an oversized bead but that's all all i had plus tim said all the cool kids are doing the oversized bead so you should do it I said that. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Dr. Timothy and I saw a bunch of fish rising in here. Tim expertly rode us across that big uh, junction down there and back rode us up into this. So we're going to see if we can get a fish to eat a little PMD dry. And I'm fishing the Timmy Grip Orvis H3 9 foot 4 weight. I haven't, whoa, I don't really fish this rod a ton, but check it out. Uncle Cheech on one side and the Thug Life Brown Trout on the other side. Yeah, we just had a fish just show us a bunch of disrespect right here. See that just dancing the caddis right along there. Fish was super lazy, just came up and ate it. Yeah. You're about up. Yeah, especially since I threw that fish again. Yeah, you're you're up, Tim. All right, so we've tried hopper with no luck hopper dropper got a few to eat when i say a few i caught one and missed it and then this little dry dropper it's a little harder to be accurate but the action on that caddis is money so we're switching tim's gonna show us how to do it he doesn't have idaho stank here anymore so let's see what happens all right tim tim just hooked the fish it looked like that one ate the bionic and then slipped off onto the caddis because you're a freaking savage. These aren't oars, these are rotator cuff physical therapy is what they are. Flash on it while I was under. He 
just wants me to row upstream so he can sit and fish behind the boat. I'll teach the fat guys a thing or two. Let me back you off. No, and Tammy's fishing like a four foot leader that goes down to zero X. Cuts his tip it down to a point so they can fit it through the eye of the hook. <laughs> That's why he can Viking hook set and land them. So you really had people hanging on your boat. Oh, that's a good fish. Dr. Timothy. He gone? Dude, what's up with us and not landing fish tonight? So we got fish rising like crazy. Tim says, you know what? I'm gonna throw my best dry fly and it's a streamer with a sculpting helmet on it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> a big old rainbow. Nice. <laughs> What were you saying about the dry? No, your dry, your fly sucks. <laughs> Dude, that fish would have eaten anything. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was terrible. People, don't, don't watch this. It's just disturbing. <laughs> like, you're teaching people that they don't have to match the hatch to catch fish. Got you over here. I'm going to stand up so I can... Get an aerial view. Holy horse. Yeah, I don't have very much. But it, it was a streamer eat and it engulfed it. Woo! Nice work. Alright. Alright, so Tim throwing streamers during the caddis hatch. <laughs> Boom. Whew. Yeah, this should be a fish. Spring hole on the lower provo where they only eat betas. Dr. Timothy with another one. They only eat betas there though, remember that part? Tim's got himself a nice brown on. Dude, that's a good one. You now, if you were fishing an Orvis rod, you'd have it in by now. <laughs> Tim. All right, so Tim has just landed a really nice brown. So what were you doing there, Tim? Streamering. Streamering. So... This is a pretty famous hole on the river that fish people nymph and fish dries and stuff a lot. And he just stuck a really nice brown on what fly? Top secret. No, it's a <laughs> yeah. sculpin pattern. It's a sculpin pattern. Engineering that I've been working on for the last little bit. I call so. it the jealous okay. Viking. <laughs> the jealous Viking. <laughs> I like that. Uh, <laughs> so the funny thing is Tim's from freaking Idaho. He doesn't know any better that you can't fish streamers on this river, but he does it anyway. And we're floating away. <laughs> okay, so it's been a pretty good day. I'm getting fish to eat the bionic ant like crazy, but I can't set the hook on them. So I'm gonna go back to the drawing board, tie up some bionic ants with different hooks because I'm not using the Lance Egan approved one right now. I won't tell you which one I am. And Tim, is fishing streamers and whacking them. Uh, so anyway, it's getting, the light starting to get a little bit darker. So we're gonna float down through. We'll see if we can get some more footage from here, but 
It's been a pretty awesome float so far. Uh, and I'm chalking up my good time to Coke Zero with cherry that Tim provided. Welcome. But he's gonna send me a bill and he usually makes me reimburse him through Venmo. <laughs> it's kind of jacked up. Anyway. Peace. Keith finally didn't bite some set of fish. Tim, if you're gonna say stuff, you gotta get closer to the camera. I'm gonna edit that out. <laughs> Tied on a corn-fed caddis. This is actually tied on a Tiemco 9300. It's a hook that's like designed for dry flies in New Zealand. And it's just gnarly. Fish on a floating soft hackle.